In conservative Zimbabwe, an attempt to dispense with an age-old custom has sparked controversy. Bride price has been under scrutiny here. People feel that Lobola has lost its uh, traditional significance. Some people are now commercializing uh, Lobola. What do I mean by that? Uh, people are now treating it as a business venture where they charge exorbitant uh, fees and uh, get a lot of money out of this cultural practice. Perpetuating the commodification of women according to critics. Women get mistreated and treated like uh, an object that was purchased. For some, the charges are justified. We all know it's expensive to raise a child. For her to just be married off without a bride price makes her seem like she has no value. Traditionalists say Lobola is as important today as it was in the past. We build a relationship between two families and it builds a very strong bond between those people. We have to go back and stand with our cultural values, not aiding and either try to, 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 try to, to bring or to, to import certain cultures from different uh, worlds and everything. That's why there are calls for regulation as opposed to a ban. We should just try and deal with the excesses uh, that come with commercialization. See how best we can um, conscientize society to respect Lobola as a traditional practice is a traditional practice uh, that is meant to join our two families and not as a business venture. The heated debate is seen boosting child rights. Uh, with this court uh, challenge that has been brought to the constitutional court, we are thinking that uh, it is going to uh, bring to the fore again that same issue of uh, children being raised up, not as children, but as uh, assets that can be sold off at some point. That may help curb early child marriages. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.